Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got Pinhook 7 Year. My first experience with Pinhook was about two years ago. So when I saw the Pinhook 7 Year sitting on the shelf after having such a good experience with the first one, I had to grab it. Let's get it. Bottom Drop. Bottom Drop. Bottom Drop. Now, if you don't already know, MGP has acquired Penelope. And MGP, they source to New Loop. So, by this being MGP, I figure why not have these two on the table, fill the table up a little bit, make it look a little better. Now, this Pinhook 7 year, it's 7 years old, it's 115 proof. This one is named after Bourbon War. That's kind of a weird name to have for a racehorse, but hey, whatever. Look, it's got bourbon in the name. That happens to be one of my favorite. Let's get into the nose. A lot of apples, man. Wow, that's, that's a really nice sour green apple. Now, I'm going to put it beside the Penelope. The bottles are damn near the same. Damn near, except for the wax that's on the top of the bottle. Pinhook comes in so many different flavors. They've got the seven year, they've got different proofs. I mean, they, they really know how to do it. Now they source from MGP, so they don't produce their own product, but we all know that MGP makes some great stuff. Apples, a light sweetness. Let's get into the palate. Maybe I can pull something else out after that. Mmm. There's a really light sour green apple, but a nice vanilla and a nice, nice uh, caramel that just creeps in. Let's get back into the nose one more time. I just want to see if I can pull anything else out. Yeah, just that sour green apple really, really comes across on the nose and on the palate. Let's go back into the palate one more time. There's a light lemon too. It's got a nice light lemon that really sits on the mid and back of the palate. I'm not picking up any char. That may be because I just had a cigar because I was doing the other shoot. But um, I'm not picking up any char. It's more like a sour green apple, a nice light lemon, maybe a little bit of tea too. Yeah, that tea picks up in the glass. That tea really picks up in the glass. It picks up across the nose. Let's see if it picks up on the palate one more time. Sour green apple, sweet tea with a touch of lemon or maybe even lemon zest. That's really good. By it being seven years old, you know it is very hard to come by products these days that are seven years old. Now, I will say this, the price for it, 75 bucks, that was a little steep. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna say that it's worth the 75 bucks just yet. We'll get into that in the breakdown. As of right now, that nice light raisin note just came through. That is something that I pick up in single malts and I am really liking that. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna keep it short and sweet. Let's get into the breakdown already. Is Pinhook seven year worth the chase? I would actually have to say yes. It's 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 really good. It is really good. Um, is it worth over retail? It already comes in at 75 bucks. I don't know if I want to go 80, 85, 90 for this seven year product. Is it really good? Yes. You know me. I love Elijah Craig. I like my stuff rich. This is not rich. The mouth filler is not thin. I would I would put it more on the medium side. Um, would I give it to a new bourbon drinker? At 115 proof, there's no way that I'm giving this thing right here to a new bourbon drinker. Um, will it always be on a bar? Now, when I see it, will I grab another one if I don't have one? 
I'm actually gonna have to say yes. I mean, 75 bucks is pretty much $10 per year, you know, roughly. We're gonna break it down like that. So it's seven years old, 75 bucks. Would I go any higher? No, but if I'm out and I see it, will it always be on a bar? I'm gonna have to say yes. And with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.